Well, the 2024 Olympics opened in Paris with a spectacular style with thousands of athletes sailing around the River Seine and past likely and lively performers on the bridges, banks and the rooftops of an ambitious take on an opening ceremony. With the Indian contingent in the athletes parade in the opening ceremony that consisted of 78 athletes and officials from 12 our disciplines who are teams in France, as P.V. Sindhu and Sharad Kamal will be have been the flag bearers and meanwhile Time Star's Karishma Singh is in Paris to get you the latest updates and the latest reports that has also been filed on this grand opening ceremony. We are here at the most iconic monument in the whole of Paris. Of course, I'm talking about the Eiffel Tower. And today is the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, 26th of July. And of course, a very, very important uh, moment for uh, France. This is the first time in Olympics that an opening ceremony is going to happen outside uh, the stadium, wherein there is going to be a boat parade. And I'm exactly at the point where uh, the Olympic ceremony is uh, going to end. Trocadero is the point. It is going to start from uh, Notre Dame along the river and this is where uh, Trocadero, where it is going to uh, end. And let's talk about the Indian perspective. There are of course our flag bearers, P.V. Sindhu and Sharad Kamal, who are ready and raring to go. They've called it the most special moment of their careers in this Olympics. This is the first time that we have 50% equality as far as men and women a ratio is concerned. That is why this Olympics is also very, very important. You can see here at Eiffel Tower, there are, of course, a lot of people. There is heightened security as well in uh, Paris. So it is going to be a moment to celebrate, a moment uh, to cherish as far as Paris is concerned. It was 100 years ago that Paris had the Olympics. And now, uh, today in 2024, we are going to have the opening ceremony. It is, of course, going to be very, very special. India's contingent of 117 athletes is ready and we are all prepared and raring to go to do better than Tokyo Olympics where we won seven, uh, seven medals and everyone is hoping that this time around we can touch double digits and Paris is full of visitors, full of tourists who are you know looking for places to get to watch the opening ceremony. There's like I said a lot of excitement. You can see the amount of people that have been uh, coming here. Uh, uh, they are you know with the country flag are celebrating uh, this huge, huge uh, moment and one can only hope that this proves to be the best Olympics for India as well. Karishma Singh at the Eiffel Tower for Times Now. Well, Karishma also had a word with the uh, Ravindran Srijesh, who is the Indian field hockey player from Kerala and who plays as the goalkeeper and the former captain of the Indian national team as well. He's regarded as the world's best goalkeeper of his generation where he plays in the Hockey India League for Uttar Pradesh Wizards. As uh, Srijesh played a vital role in the Indian national team's bronze medal win at 2020 Summer Olympics Men's Field Hockey Tournament, he won the FIH Player of the Year award as well for the best male goalkeeper. And since winning gold in 2014 Asian Games, he's won gold medal again in 2022 Asian Games in Hangzhou, as he's won a total of 16 international medals in his career until 2023 from the Olympics. A very special Olympics for so the man standing right next to me, PR Srijesh, and he's always teased me about not being able to give a new introduction for him. But this time around, Srijesh, last Olympics for you, you have announced it. How is the feeling? Uh, it's a tough feeling, emotional one. Uh, whenever you go for an Olympics, everyone says it's a, it's a great honor, it's a great exciting one. Uh, but uh, for me, when I'm looking forward to it, uh, seems like another eight more match left in my career and how do you want to play that so it's a big question so when I when I had a word with my team I said just give your best for me because uh, this is the last chance for me to win a medal in Olympic Games and the team has dedicated this campaign uh, for you win it for Sri Jesh. so how does that feel that adds an extra bit of responsibility and pressure on you the responsibility is always there and uh, you, you know when, when the, the entire team says that it's a it's a great thing because uh, they, they feel it like okay this guy is here uh, from two decades and uh, this is the time what uh, something they can do for me and maybe it's the last time uh, so I think it's a it's a good thing uh, I mean they got one more reason to give the 200 percentage so I feel it like okay the team is ready for it and I'm ready for it let's go and uh, enjoy this tournament. 
and you've had your journey in the olympics of course uh, how do you look back at it from london to rio to winning the bronze medal in tokyo and i remember manpreet saying that we have won it for uh, shrijesh there as well he was the captain then to now being in paris how would you describe your journey uh, see it, it, it was uh, it was not a nice one seriously because i i was in the core group when the team didn't qualify in 2008 and uh, then i got a ch- opportunity in 2012 that time we were all ex- excited because we qualified for the olympics but uh, we forgot that what we should do during the olympic games uh, that was a great lesson for us and in 2016 when you look into rio uh, we learned a big lesson that you cannot take any lower ranked team lightly because that's what happened with us in i mean against canada that drew costas and ac open in the quarter finals otherwise uh, if we would have beat uh, uh, spain there we would have got uh, i mean uh, yeah, we would have beat uh, canada there we would have get uh, spain in the quarter finals rather than uh, belgium so uh, uh that's two experience that two lessons what we learned uh, we used it in uh, tokyo i think uh, that is what we from the first day we said to the players one match at a time there will be drawbacks like setback like australia but don't worry about that just keep on playing and uh, don't take any team lightly so that's what happened because first match 3-2 against new zealand it was not easy uh, but competitively they were a lower ranked team so all this experience we are accumulating all the lessons what we learned all the all the lessons the olympics taught us we are applying it here and uh, shrijesh what was the reaction of the players did you sit them down have a conversation with them were they surprised were they hoping that you continue uh, to play forever like the entire country would be hoping for it <laughs> see uh we we had a meeting in in holland uh so uh, the the their i mean team members were there, not the coaching staff the players were there there we were we were all talking about uh, what is mean for you this olympics and the players were talking about i'm excited this is my first olympics i want to do this some say it's my second olympics some say it's my third olympics and me and manpreet were the ones who was uh, you know giving up for our fourth one and uh, and i said uh, so i will talk last and i i, I told them it's like uh, this is going to be my last and uh, they all thought okay this is going to be my last olympics i said no this is going to be my last uh, tournament then there was a pin drop sir and i said guys uh, i cannot do it alone you know i need your support i want you all to give you a 200 percentage to make sure that okay we uh, we are not lacking anywhere and we we give a 100 percent to win this and i said this is the last chance for me to win a medal any medal i don't i don't i'm, I'm not pressuring you anything but just give you 100 percent 200 percentage and just go for it and win it then we go home i can i can go home with a i mean a fresh mind you've always been wanting to spend time with your children see them grow that's what your aim was yes. to do right after you won that historic bronze in uh, tokyo as well so you're looking forward to some family time as well definitely uh, see uh, i i think the best part of uh, a parent is uh, making the children proud and uh, okay everyone says that okay i miss a uh, lot of quality time with them but uh, i made the i believe that i made their uh, childhood more precious because um, when i go home uh, my kids always says papa you should win you should win a medal i, I don't know whether they understand or not but they still my, when i call now my son says papa you should win a medal my daughter says you should come back with gold medal so they are realizing i'm doing something for the country and i think being a parent okay i miss those days but now now i feel proud when they are realizing that okay their dad is someone who is doing a great job for the country and uh, she just talking about india's campaign uh, this time around the hockey campaign how are you looking uh, at that the expectations are obviously very very high that changed the color of the medal from tokyo and that's what the entire team also wants so how are you dealing with the pressure of expectations this time around we are told uh, that there are mental health experts inside there's a sleep expert inside so a lot has changed as well Yes, uh, we start with our hockey team. Uh, we we got eleven players who played in Tokyo here, and uh, they got enough experience. They know how to reach there. It's just not an easy path. It's going to be really tough. Uh, you know uh, the pressure, how to handle the pressure, how, the the pressure of quarterfinals, semifinals, and if you lose in the semifinals, how you to prepare for the losers final. So it's going to be tough. And uh, but the preparation which we had from last one and a half years was, I mean, I I, I think it's good enough, and uh, and most of the times. So, in in hockey the top 6 teams got enough opportunity and equal chances to win the medal and the, uh, and if you see is about this uh, ioa preparation here it's 
it's really good. They they offered us uh, all the I mean, you know, facilities. We carried a mental expert uh, with us, and we got a goalkeeper trainer here. We got to do video analysts here with us, uh, and physiotherapist with us. And inside this, they set up a special, uh, you know, recovery unit for us. Uh, you, as you mentioned, uh, uh, sleep uh, expert is there. There is physiotherapy room is there. There is a recovery slot where you can have your uh, ice bath and all there. So uh, the. I think the best part is that we are having to experience uh, athlete as a uh, chef the mission and deputy chef the mission. So that is what is making the difference because they know what the athletes need. And Gaganbai and uh, Ganbai doing is a great job. You don't feel it like you are going and meeting someone. You always feel. I said hi. And I said sir. I said sir. Then I make fun of them. I mean, you know, it's it's good because they re- they understand what a player required and they are looking for that. and um, you know what would be your message to the people of india they will of course be supporting the entire hockey team and i always say this that uh, our country has a special connect with hockey you have felt it in so many ways so what would your message be to them so i i always tell them that support us uh, there will be up and downs there will be roller coaster in this tournament uh, but uh, trust us uh, support us uh, you know uh, be with us and uh, uh, we will do our 200% to uh, make sure that we are coming back with some glory 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 moment and, and not only us not only hockey players but and i mean and support the entire contingent there are athletes there are badminton players boxers uh, there are a lot of members i mean table tennis so watch us see us force your kids to watch these games and make i mean you know i mean uh, let them see our heroes are performing here in paris and that is going to be a great memory and i hope uh, we all we all make our country proud and finally excited for the opening ceremony india's flag bearers are ready the entire contingent is ready 117 athletes ready to represent uh, india So it's a it's a great opportunity, but unfortunately we are playing the very next day in 27th. So so I don't think that the hockey team is going to participate. Uh, I mean, for the opening ceremony, but uh, it's set the tone. yes, it's, but uh, but I believe that this is going to be really excited. exciting one because uh, i mean you know, it's not a normal ones where you just stay there walk around it's a boat you are sailing you are getting into that uh, you know feeling but uh, the other condition people are really ready everyone is excited we are there to cheer for you guys we will watch you on on tv and we will prepare ourselves for the next and, next match and before i let you go just putting you in a spot do you think india's touching double digit medal tally I think we do have the quality this time. The the, the athletes showcasing that confidence, and uh, that is what I'm praying for. Let's go for it, guys. We need to set a mark this time, and the future will come, and they they will grab more medals for our country. Shijesh, as always, a pleasure talking to you, and wish you all the very best thank for you. the Paris Olympics. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, we also had an exclusive word with uh, Gagan Narang, who is an Indian sport shooter and uh, supported by Olympic Gold Quest. He won the bronze medal in men's 10 meter air rifle event in 2012 Summer Olympics in London with a final score of 701. We are here in Paris, looking forward to the much-awaited Paris Olympics. And joining me at this moment is a chef, Nishan Gagan Narang. Sir, how are the athletes feeling? How is the atmosphere in the games? We've been seeing photos with Nadal and Carlo Alcaraz. Uh, how is the excitement in the games village? Well, uh, most of the athletes I received personally when they arrived, and uh, I think every athlete is now well settled in their accommodations and uh, going about their daily routines. The training sessions, the uh, dining hall, all the physical training sessions, and the play sessions. So I think they are settled now, and we can go to the action. And sir, have you been speaking uh, to the athletes? Have they come up to you with any sort of questions? Is there some nervous energy among the athletes? Which is sometimes always good. Well, yes, absolutely. I think uh, a little bit of pressure is always uh, good. I think it puts you on the edge, and uh, for your performances to come. But uh, nothing that we can't solve. Uh, minor issues here and there, but. Uh,
Fingers crossed, hopefully. I think we're in a much better space than what we were. Everything that was required to be done has been done. However, there's some news coming in uh, that could be of concern uh, from France. According to the national rail company, the SNCF, high-speed trains around France were hit by several malicious acts that have heavily disrupted the traffic on the day of high-risk opening ceremony of Paris Olympics. As travel to and from London uh, beneath the English Channel to neighboring Belgium and across the west, north and east of France were affected in what the SNCF has called a series of coordinated overnight incidents. National police said that authorities were investigating what has happened. Un acte de sabotage ciblé et coordonné a frappé le réseau SNCF et notamment les axes est, nord et ouest avec un objectif clair, bloquer le réseau TGV. Les conséquences sont massives. Ce sont des centaines de milliers de nos concitoyens qui se retrouvent bloqué des centaines de milliers de nos concitoyens qui n'aspirent qu'à une chose, pouvoir partir en vacances, se retrouver en famille, pour certains assister à des épreuves des Jeux Olympiques. L'enquête le, démarre, j'appelle chacun à la prudence. Ce que l'on sait, ce que l'on constate, c'est que cette opération a été préparée, coordonnée, que des points névralgiques ont été ciblés, ce qui montre une forme de connaissance du réseau pour savoir où frapper. Je ne peux pas vous en dire davantage sur les auteurs, les motivations. Ce que je vois en revanche, c'est l'impact, l'impact qui est massif pour nos concitoyens. Well, in the meantime, let's take a look at the top updates coming in from the Olympics in Paris.